r slash ask reddit, what is perfectly legal but creepy as hell. In some states, it's actually legal to take upskirt pictures with your smartphone, as long as they are wearing panties. Super creepy as hell. I only know this because a judge ruled a guy innocent for doing just that because of a law that was worded a certain way. No clue if the law has changed to include upskirt pics. There was recently a lot made about a law being introduced in the UK to make upskirting illegal, which astounded me as I'm sure that even before that specific act was illegal, it would still violate various other laws about taking incident photos and could even be classed as assault. Parking across the street from an elementary school with binoculars technically not illegal, but you definitely get the cops called on you and make the news. I just like to bird watch and it's not my fault the best birds are at the elementary school. S. Sir, we don't call women, birds, in this country, and those are children. I work in commercial construction and we build a lot of schools. When we complete a project, part of my job is to take drone photos of the completed building. Typically by the time I get around to taking these drone photos, school has already started. So on several occasions, I look like I'm just some random guy standing out in the parking lot, taking drone photos of an elementary school during a normal school day. It's not a great look. I've encountered the cops a couple of times, but they've always been pretty cool about it. Using the urinal next to me when there were plenty of other choices. How would you feel if the guy walks up to the urinal next to you and then, midstream looks right at you and says, hey, nice watch. How uncomfortable is that? I'll thank him for the compliment, I'm not used to it so it's overwhelming enough for me to overlook the fact that he inspected my watch whilst my hand was down at my crotch guiding my junk. Sitting on a lake bed at night with a rebreather and no flashlight. I literally shuddered at the idea, light is good, light is lovely. Light is what stops the idiot fish from running into you because apparently some of them just bonk around at night, in the dark and cause your soul to leave its earthly vessel in terror. I feel like you've had a few traumatic diving experiences. Child brides in some parts of the world. WTF is wrong with people. Thankfully it's not legal anymore but where I'm from it was extremely popular to marry a girl as young as 10 or even younger, usually the parents of the bride got property and money in exchange basically selling their kid. It's just pure disgusting. Yeah. Besides the obvious disgusting underage aspects of that, it also encourages poor people to grow kids to use as currency. Purity balls, dances, that shit where girls pledge their virginity to their fathers until they are married. Ew. Yes, that is creepy. Payday loan companies. Within walking distance of the main gate of every military base I've ever been to there's at least one that and used car dealerships. One dealership even had a sign that said, we finance E1 and up. Fricking predators every one of them. What's even worse is that a lot, hopefully all commands by now lecture all these kids right after boot camp about what happens with these companies. And some frickers still go out and use them. Your branch, Federal Credit Union will give you 10k with no credit history to buy a car at a reasonable rate. But thousands of dumbasses still go finance a 25 30ths K car at 28%. Corporations influencing government via donations in the non-stop revolving door between the two. Fossil fuel companies are preventing any real kind of progress to carbon reduction targets. Pharmaceutical and medical companies blocking healthcare reform. But it's not bribing them. Saying that two little kids would look great together as a couple. This makes me cringe. I know a mom who does this often, makes all kinds of, not funny, jokes about her kid's future spouse and in-laws. The kids are three. It's honestly so creepy, I don't understand at all why it happens, they are tiny. They don't even know what dating is, but as soon as they actually start getting crushes the parents get mad and are like, you can't date until you're this old, but I'll still say you look good with this person. How does that make any sense? That and when people make remarks about baby boys being ladies' men because they're happy around female family members. What the hell Deborah he's literally an infant enjoying spending time with his aunts. Marrying your aunt or uncle. I guess that's illegal somewhere, right? I know in the US the act of marriage is not illegal, but producing offspring is the illegal part. Some states require the one of the parties must be sterile before the marriage can be allowed. I hate that I know this information. Yeah. Why and how do you know this? 
Nobody is saying you can't eat a banana terry, but you can't just stand on a street corner for 30 minutes and suck on it, you have to actually take a bite. I like bananas, I eat them a lot at work with lunch. In the military, I learned that when eating a banana, it's okay if you bring the banana to your face. Not the other way around. Go ahead, try it. Bonus points if you make eye contact with someone while your mouth is slightly open with the banana headed for it. Never gets old. You have to turn it sideways and eat it like a bear eats a salmon. Remove the doubt. Parents using their kids for money example. YouTube kids channels. My favorite is when parents of autistic kids post shocking videos of their overwhelmed, distraught children having meltdowns under the guise of awareness. It's a bit horrific how little privacy kids get these days, especially when they're not aware of the full consequences that content can have for them. I believe the act of cannibalism itself is legal so long as you didn't murder anyone to do it. If your homie gives you his arm to gnaw on, it's fair game. Some dude lost his foot in an accident and somehow was allowed to bring it home after it was amputated. Fricker fried it up and invited his friends over and they ate foot tacos. F.A. fetus? Burritos, obviously. This one hits close to home. A good friend of mine lives in a major East Coast city, as a single woman she is extra cautious. She was the victim of a known local Instagram celebrity this weekend. Basically this guy follows people, guys and girls, around and records them. When they get annoyed and tell him to stop he gets more and more obnoxious, trying to get a reaction. He is careful not to cross the legal line for stalking etc. And does it in public, so be expectation of privacy. He then posts the inevitable freak out online. I'm not going to share the page, my friend made the cut, because I don't want to grace this troll with the page views. I live in Baltimore and we had a guy doing that a couple years ago, he got charged after a bunch of complaints. Not sure what happened to him though. Ah, my instinct was to downvote you solely on the basis of how much I hate that dude haha. He pled guilty to eight misdemeanor charges, the state dismissed three and the other 15 they put on hold which means at this point they're no longer able to bring those charges against him. Now he lives in Virginia, apparently. Ha 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 no worries at all, the only reason I knew of him was because he harassed my husband in Fells Point. Thank you for the update on his charges though. Those little kid beauty pageants, awful. IIRC France banned them in 2013 if er are under 13 and I think 13 to 15 is regulated. Sifting through someone else's garbage bins, cops and collection agencies do it all the time to gather evidence. It's perfectly legal, as the bins are on the street which is public. You can even turn it around and do it to the cops. They'll still try and throw the book at you of course, but it's legal and the courts have ruled as such. Update. This got popular, so it's CYA time. Please check your state's laws on this beforehand. They're all different, and some might supersede the SCOTUS ruling mentioned by you, Adambi underscore the underscore gorilla. Huh. Didn't know this. Interesting. Actually learned SCOTUS case about this in my gov. Class. It was a local case, but went all the way up to the federal Supreme Court. They ruled that if the can was in the guy's lawn, then it would have been an unconstitutional search, oddly enough. So, if your can is on your land, it can't be searched. If it's on the side of the road for garbage night, it can be searched by anyone. Stalking someone doesn't have enough legal repercussions. My husband has this guy who is a total creep. Road raged him then called him trying to track him down and had friends calling to trick us. Found our old address and wanted to try to meet us there. Total creep but not enough to make a clear stalking case. We'd have to pursue it all ourselves. High school teachers dating students immediately after they graduate. 100% happened in my graduating class. Teacher was in his first year. So he was 22 and she was 18. She was top 5 in the class. They actually started dating during the school year, but didn't announce it publicly until after graduation. It's been 15 years and they're still married. Sniffing the hair of the lady who fell asleep on the train. Joe Biden? A big, fat, hairy middle-aged man wearing just a speedo hanging out at a park eating pudding. What should I be eating then? A banana, real slow like. My dad is currently in an injury case against his old job. 
There's been a car outside his house filming him for the last couple months trying to catch him doing compromising things to disprove his injuries. That's very creepy. That sounds quite expensive. Yeah, but they really don't want to admit my dad's injuries are from 20 years of literally backbreaking labor. They already sent us some supposedly detrimental footage of my dad going to the store or getting gas. It was extremely disturbing to see that footage and realize what's happening. However, even yesterday we saw the same car parked outside. Facing the wrong way in an elevator. Ah, uh, that is creepy. There's no wasted motion doing this either. You just elect to turn around after you get to your floor and exit rather than when you enter. You can actually save energy by leaving the elevator backwards. Which is creepier, this or entering backwards? Definitely entering backwards. BC it me means walking into a small, mobile, semi-private space that could contain anything without looking equals totally crazy. Using a laser rangefinder to ensure you stay outside the effective radius of a restraining order. Fortunately for the plaintiff, when the respondent is continually staying just outside of the distance specified in an order of protection it is illegal and provides just cause to get arrested. Can you define, just, you know, so I can calibrate my second rangefinder. MLMs, though I think they'll be illegal soon enough. Edit. MLM is in, multi-level marketing. It's not a pyramid scheme. It's a reverse funnel system. I kid you not. I saw an MLM babe post once that called it a triangular business model. I'll try to find the picture I snuck, but one time a dude tried to pitch me while I was eating at a McDonald's and he literally drew a freaking triangle. Memorizing the age of consent in every state or country. And carrying a laminated card in your wallet that lists the relevant state code. I can go put up a camera with a giant lens and set it up to take pictures every 30 seconds while pointed at a popular playground full of children while I also fly a drone taking pictures of the same playground. The act of taking pictures in public is not illegal, even if the subject doesn't want their picture taken. It's how the photos are used that determines if permission is needed. And as long as I'm using it for my own weird, creepy personal reasons rather than trying to publish a book of them or put them in a movie, then it's not illegal. Of course this only applies in Canada and the US, other countries may have different privacy laws, and you do need the appropriate drone license but I could still do it all day every day. Uploading your kid's life onto Facebook for strangers to view before the kid even knows what the internet is. Edit. Remember how when you first started using the internet, there was no trace of you. You didn't exist online. The power was in our hands to create our digital footprint. We could expose as much or as little as we want, and we still can. That classic scene where your parents take out the old baby pictures to embarrass you in front of your new partner literally won't be a thing anymore. Imagine logging online for the first time to find more pictures of you growing up than you've ever seen before, and realizing people you don't know have had access to them for years, commenting on them and liking them. Your parents' old friends that they haven't spoke to in 10 years and have never met you. Yeah, I used to be a nanny for one of these people. I called her an instamommy. She's actually pretty popular. Her child was an accessory though. This child wasn't even two and probably had 1000s on pictures on Instagram. Not just a typical baby picture either. Pictures of the kid breastfeeding, in a bath, getting her diaper changed, cuddling naked with her mommy. I work in childcare and even I found some of them weird. Pay was great. Job was terrible. I loved the baby but it was brutal. You would think this mom was perfect if you followed her on Instagram reality, I was there 12 plus hours a day. If the baby pooped she was handed off to me. If she cried she was handed off to me. Any image captured from public property is considered fair game, even if it's zoomed in a quarter mile away through a telephoto lens right into your bedroom window. Depending on the state, pictures into places where you have an expectation of privacy are not legal. Robocalling the shit out of you with spoofed phone numbers every few minutes. Actually that is illegal it's just extremely hard to track and deal with. I shit you not I just got a call about my car's extended warranty 10 seconds after reading this. It's like a yawn. Just reading about yawning can make people yawn. Likewise, reading about robocalls inevitably brings on a robocall. That classic scene from American movies where a group of high schoolers raise money by washing cars in bikinis. Seems like a pervert magnet. Edit. This is just bringing me more questions. 
No one raised hell if a girl ended up being harassed. Were parents or maybe cops assigned to at least look after these minors? What did the press say? This seems like the perfect base for immoral panic. My favorite is when people advertise shirtless car wash, and it turns out to be a bunch of burly shirtless guys from the local fire department. Hanging out in a public bathroom timing how long people pee. I swear to God, I did a lot of work in hospitals for a while, big freaking hospitals with tons of bathrooms all over the place. For some goddamned reason, regardless of what time or bathroom I selected to take a shit in not 30 seconds after I sat down a janitor would knock on the door to clean the bathroom. It's not as if it was one janitor, just some random janitor would inevitably need to clean whatever bathroom I was in as soon as I got comfy. It's like I was being stalked by the janitors. So now I'm trying to take a shit knowing full well there's somebody out there actively timing how long it takes. Saying, think of yourselves as sisters when introducing a much younger new wife to one's adult daughter. My father-in-law did this. WTF? No dad. I don't want to imagine you shagging my sister, thank you very much. My bio dad married a woman who was not only just two years older than I, his second to youngest daughter, she was also his third cousin. Luckily, I never had to meet her as they lived in another country. Sitting next to someone at a public transport even when there are other seats available. Or even better, as someone gets onto public transport you can move over and pat the seat next to you, inviting them to sit. Or, after they have taken their seat, you get up and sit next to them. T's technically legal to check if a door is locked, as long as you don't enter without permission. Edit. Depending on where you live this could apply to both houses and cars. Edit edit. You won't find any laws permitting this activity, but laws associated with it are generally based on circumstantial evidence or rely on proving the suspect's intent. An arrest may be likely, but proving intent is difficult, and charges might not stick. Results may vary in your precinct. Ah yes the vampire clause. Super not fun fact. Richard Chase, a spree killer, necrophile, cannibal, thought he was some sort of a vampire. When he went on his, horrific, killing spree, the victims were determined by whether or not their doors were locked. If it was unlocked, he considered it an invitation inside and since he was a vampire, he was allowed to enter. His crimes were particularly brutal and it's crazy to think that something as simple as locking your door was the difference between him walking away or drinking your blood. ETA. Correction, he didn't think he was a vampire. He was a paranoid schizophrenic that thought he needed more blood and also happened to follow the invited vampire lore. Tracking. Whether it's Google, Facebook, the government, or whoever. Frick right off with that. A national newspaper having a countdown for when a child actress becomes legal for sex. Answers to questions that will surely come. Yes. The Sun, UK. Emma Watson. And that's not even close to the worst thing rags like the S asterisk N and the Daily Hile have done and continue doing. Yeah. But by any measure it's right up there on the creepy scale though. Anonymously leaving a watermelon on your neighbor's doorstep every Friday night. Damn. That's creepy but neighbors, which one of you will step up and give me a secret supply of watermelons? Those weird kid clothes that are like, I suck mom's boob, or something. I found shit like that at Spencer's and thought it was freaking gross. Spencer's is gross to start with. And kids like shopping there. Was gifted a boob man onesie for our son. It was donated immediately. Eating mayonnaise at a urinal in your gym's bathroom with your pants all the way on the floor. You, gotta tell us something buddy? That is creepily precise. In Texas it's encouraged to monitor pregnant women if you think they are attempting to have an abortion. One might even be compensated for their efforts. I can't believe what I'm reading even though I know it's true and have been following this issue since Abbott announced plans for it. I'm still taken aback, and fricking furious whenever I'm reminded of it throughout the day. What compounds the insanity is the way they wrote the law to be near impossible to stop it from being ruled unconstitutional before coming in effect. Legal Eagle on YouTube did a good video breaking it down, but it's obviously a shady method the state and conservative majority Supreme Court are bending over backwards to allow. Like, regardless of your stance on abortion, that's not how you should be writing and implementing laws. If you need to make all sorts of weird provisions to avoid it being challenged for being unconstitutional, it definitely needs to be challenged to determine whether it is or not. 
Bringing your own silverware to a restaurant. I don't see what's creepy about that. Maybe you're just really picky about your cutlery. Honestly though there are standards for restaurants cleaning systems, the ones at a restaurant are probably cleaner than the ones you gave at home. Clowns driving in traffic. That would be basically the entire state of Ohio. You can find your town's unpaid property tax registry fairly easy by looking on your town's website. To explain this very simply you can cover other people's property taxes, this gives them two options 1, they reimburse you for the money you fronted for their property taxes, or 2, the property reaches a deadline where if the property owner hasn't paid you back for the money you fronted you become the legal owner of the property because you have paid the property taxes. You could essentially buy a property worth 80k, example, by only putting down a few hundred thousand in property tax fees. You either make all your money back when the original property owner pays you for the money you fronted, or you put a few hundred thousand bucks down and get a property worth a lot more than your initial investment. Edit. I'd like to include this avoid confusion. I should have started with this portion. No you cannot go pay the property tax of any building you'd like to own. You need to go through something called a tax deed sale. This is a legal process that properly transfers ownership. Typically tax deed sales are found on your local website, not all states offer tax deed sales. Sorry for any confusion. You can just grab a duck and keep it as your pet, it's not creepy it's just I wanted to say that. Why else would they leave ducks around the park? They're obviously free for anyone. Urban legend. In the 1980s, cities had to do information campaigns to tell the new Vietnamese immigrants that the ducks in the park were not for people to catch and eat. My understanding is that the rumor is totally false, and there were never real problems with this. Door-to-door -door solicitation, religion, knives, energy, etc. My home is my safe space and the fact that people can just show up creeps me out. I never answer the door, but it really just seems weird to me. Technically a drunk person can enter your house and it's illegal but can be dismissed easily. Especially if they lived there or knew the previous owner. Why are you trying to give me nightmares? Thankfully the previous owner of my house moved far away, and the one before that has likely passed on. Not trying to give you nightmares, just wanted to make sure you knew it's something that has happened to people. Also I hope you will never experience anything remotely close to that bad with your home. Standing naked within view of all your neighbors so long as you are with the confines of your house, like inside an open door or as seen through a window. At least it ends see anyway. I remember seeing news about some jagoff who would stand in his front picture window when the school bus drove by. The kids shot phone video, and the cops rolled up on him big time, so that may be state by state, and probably on its way out overall. It probably is heavily dependent on the context whether it is considered illegal or not. I imagine if someone is very obviously trying to expose themselves to children it would be treated very differently than someone forgetting to fully close their blinds as they change, for example. Signing up strangers' addresses on the Jehovah's Witness website. What a horrible idea, who would do such a thing? Me, I'm that person, I have two people getting signed up today. Cannibalism is technically allowed, it's the murder part that is illegal. But aren't there laws about how you treat a dead body? I constantly see it listed on lists of charges against murderers or accomplices. Probably considered mutilation of the body. But if the person in question has given consent to be eaten then it can't be considered mutilation. Otherwise everyone who's ever cremated someone in a crematorium is a criminal. You can legally buy a dead body, depending on where you live, or have a dying person sign a contract giving their body for you in exchange for your family getting money. Meeting someone as a child, deciding that you're going to date, marry them, and pursuing them romantically but not doing anything sexual until the day they turn 18. Isn't that just grooming? Staring into someone's window from the street to watch Jeopardy on their TV because your freaking mom cancelled cable when she found your vape. Puppy mills are backyard dog breeders that breed any dog with a genetic issue that affects their health or quality of life. These are illegal where I live thankfully. Amish have entered the CH. Oh wait they can't lol. Please name a recognized dog breed that doesn't have genetic issues, I'll wait. It's a trick question, all dog breeds have genetic issues. I know in some places upskirting, taking pictures up a woman's skirt without her permission, is still somehow legal. 
In the UK there was a bill put to Parliament a few years ago which would have made upskirting an offence in its own right, but it was blocked from going through by one MP, Christopher Chope. It's now slang to refer to it as chopping, in honour of this degenerate. There's legal, which implies okayness, and then there's not illegal yet. A grown man giving expensive gifts to a teenage girl he's not related to or particularly close to. I came across this ask after reading a post where a woman said her husband gave their neighbor's daughter a $300 bracklet without discussing it with her and the vibes were super creepy. Technically not illegal but hella pedo vibes there. Edit. The price was $300 not $3000 though still creepy. Anyone wanting to read the story, someone posted a link below. Nice. You have made it to the end already. Thank you for watching. If you aren't already subscribed, please do so, as there will be more videos like this in the near future.